Hello friends, good morning. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I have been up for three and a half hours. I've been up since five thirty, I think. Um, and today is a Christmassy DIY video. Um, and just a quick little. I have a few things in the background that I picked up, but we can. Alright, so first and foremost, this is an old shutter that I've had in my shed um, for a bird. We're going to paint it green and hang it on the house. And <clears throat> like most great projects, it just never happened. So I was going to film this outside today, but it is soaking wet out. It rained all day yesterday. It is gray and crummy outside. I don't see, it was supposed to be sunny. I don't see any, I'm just trying to look around. I don't see any sign of sun anywhere. We're supposed to get apparently 10 inches of flipping snow tomorrow on that. I should be south. I shouldn't be in New England, but I am. So we'll just deal with it anyway. Okay, so. Let's get right into this, shall we? Okay, so like I said, this is an old shutter. It's not super tall. Here, I'll stand up. Not making fun of me. Yeah, okay, so it comes up to my shoulder. Um, I'm 5'4", so it's about 5 foot tall. So what you want to do is you want to find whatever color. If you want to use ribbon, you can. This is what I'm using today, but it, this is totally up to your imagination, your likes, your thoughts, whatever. This is just how I've happened to do it. I have seen a couple of these on Pinterest, and I like them, but I just, I don't know, I felt like some of them were missing. Like, a lot of them were painted. Like, the whole thing was, like, painted like a snowman or, like, a Christmas tree or had words on it or whatever, and that's great. But I have the skill of a painter in kindergarten. <laughs> I don't have any painting skills at all, so that's not going to work for me. If you can paint them, it's fabulous. Like, this would probably look great as a snowman. Mine would look like it was done by a three-year-old. It just wouldn't look good. So, anyway, what I've done is I've taken some outdoor ribbon, and I want to stress that because you don't want to take some of your fancy indoor ribbon because if you're putting, unless you're leaving it inside, if you're leaving it inside, that's fine. Mine's going outside. I have two of them. I've already done one. It's out on the... I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Takes me a minute every now and again. My brain's a little bit slow today because I have a million things to do. So anyway. So I have, and this is just 4 inches wide by 15 yards. It is just the Noble Red Ribbon. I got a lot of this donated to me. Um, my mom works at a school and they were cleaning out all the art stuff to see, you know, order. I don't know. It was basically, she dumpster dived for me, rescued this. I have enough to do probably 50 houses and then some, but we're going to use it for a shutter. So you want to take it and just put it on the back. I used my staple gun. You can use hot glue. You can use E6000. You can use Gorilla Glue. You pretty much whatever will hold it for your project. I'm using staples because like I said, mine's going outside and I want to make sure that it holds up and sometimes I know glue, hot glue <laughs> had a little uh, tongue tying incident there. Um, hot glue sometimes does not hold up in the weather and since my weather next week is going to be 30s or lower, I need something that's going to hold up. So I use my staple gun. I don't know if it's really a staple gun, we'll just call it that. And then you just wrap it around. And then you just, I don't know if I can turn this really well. You just, see? So two staples securing it in the back. And the other thing that I want to make really clear is if you're going to use this outside and you want to put things into it, see how these slats are going down? You want the slats going down on the back. Because that means on the front, they're going up. And this is how you can stick stuff in there without like super tons of glue or super lots of staples or what have you. Um, 
And so one of the things that I like to do, because I have them on either side of my fence, so I'm kind of having the evergreen go up either side of the outside of the shutter to frame the fence, or frame the tree that's in the fence. But you take these, and this is why you have the slats up. You stick them in, like so. Should maybe that one would look better. Yeah. Okay, and notice how this is falling over. That's okay. You can use whatever you want to secure it. Like, you could, I use staples, so I would staple that like that. Since I'm not having this one here, I'm not going to do that. But, alright, so I'm going to put in that one, and then... The staples gun is going to be really, really loud, and I'm going to apologize for that. I don't have very many pieces in here because I'm using two different kinds of wood. Or, I think it would be evergreen. So you just keep filling it in to how you like it. And it could be as intricate or as sparse. I've seen them both ways. Um, let's see. Oh, I like <laughs> and once you get some pieces in here, it slowly starts to take shape and it fills out pretty quickly. Like, I'll show you the bottom of mine if I can. A little cumbersome. Not even gonna lie. Oh, can you see it? See, that's what I'm doing. So, and then I'm gonna have some more that comes up this way. And I think I'm going to go use my other stuff because I'm not really liking this as much as I thought I was going to. This is, I believe, mm -hmm. I would probably do with me. Uh, I think it's hemlock. And what I want to use is <laughs> spruce, I think is what I have outside that looks the best. I don't know. He's going to be so mad at me. He's a boy, but he's an ex Boy Scout master. It taught me everything I know about trees. Makes me so mad at me. So like, why did you get that right? All well, that because yeah, I've been a Boy Scout master for a few years, and my brain's got a little fried. So you just keep sticking whatever evergreen you want in here, or whatever. If you're just using um, the white pine, you're just putting a few sprigs around the middle. That's fine too. This is totally up to what you want and how you like it to look. Um, you can put picks. If you have grass that you want to put up here, or some of those curly willow, I think they're called, you can just stick them in the slats and just put them however you like. Um, pine cones on sticks. If you have sticks that you put the pine cones on, I know you can hot glue them on bamboo skewers and stick them in here. I don't have any, so it's fine. I did buy these at the dollar store, and it comes with a string, so you just put the string through the bag, have it dangle. And then it can just hang however you like. Um, there's really no wrong way to these, which is, I think, the fun part of it. But that's what I'm working on today. Along with cleaning and light hanging and cooking and, yeah, I don't know what to do. But I wanted to make a video because I promised I would. And tomorrow, oh, ow, set on my scissors. It's why I was weighing Wednesday and that's the only thing that I'm going to have time for. Um, I just wanted to share this with you because I'll show you, I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like after it's done. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I really need coffee. Is it like my fourth cup today? It's going a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing is, is like you could, I saw a couple and I wish I had the painting skills, but I don't. They had a sign that said like Noel or Joy. And they had bells hanging off it, and that looked good. Um, my theme outside is pretty much, I don't know what my theme is. It's a lot of, like, birch and planters and evergreen planters and things like that. So I'm just trying to continue the theme. There's a lot of red, white, and green outside. Inside is going to be a lot of, like, blues and silvers. Outside is going to be the natural stuff, because... Cut. Because honestly, that's what my husband likes. That's what he's picked, so that's what we're doing. My husband is all over this Christmas stuff. Like, he's been crazy about this for Oh, my neighbor's dog is back. Okay, whatever. Um, so that's what you could do. I've seen bells on these, pine cones, berries, um, 
you could paint it um, a winter scene if you want and put little pieces on that kind of correspond to that. I've seen that. I don't have painting skills. Like I said, it would look horrible. Um, so this is something that I just like. And like I said, I have, a, I have a ton of this red ribbon, so I'm just trying to use it all. I'm not gonna. But that's beside the point. So that's my DIY for today. I will show you... Uh, I don't know. I wanted to show you my planters that I've worked really hard on making. But, like I said, I have family coming tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe next week I can show you the holiday planters we're supposed to have. Warmish, weatherish next week. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a quick video clip of the snow. Don't know. Tomorrow's way in Wednesday. Yay. Um, okay, so really quickly, I went to Ulta last night. Big mistake. Yes, I know. And I picked up this. It's the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Conditioner. I'm just the conditioner. I did the Kool-Aid Dip Dye Bunny with my daughter. She did Blue Raspberry. I did Grape and Black Cherry and love it. But it did make my ends a little crispy, not fried, not not to the point where I have to cut off three inches of my hair. But it did it did dry them out a little bit, so I just picked that up. So we'll see. I used that this morning. Um, and then I picked up this, which is the Ulta Tropical Citrus Moisture Intense Body Butter. Pretty good. It's pretty lightweight. It goes on a little greasy, but once it dries, it's just... It, it's it's not. It's moisturizing. It feels good. It spreads nicely. It's just really nice. So it doesn't smell super citrusy once you have it on. That's right. This I'm in love with. This is the Tree Hut Shade Sugar Scrub Tropical Mango. It smells so good. So delicious. It's just ridiculous how good it smells. Um, I have an exfoliating body scrub. Uh, a couple years ago that I got, and I loved it, and I've been looking for a good one for about a year, I think I ran out of it last year, um, and I used it today, and my face is so soft, and so smooth, and my chest, because I'm starting to get little bumps from working out, I don't have that now, and it is so moisturizing, and so good, like, normally when you use these, sometimes you get out, and your body just like has that tight, crispy feel, like you're screaming for moisturizer. I didn't have that with this. I felt very moisturized, refreshed. It's perfect. And it smells so good. And it's got tiny little exfoliating beads. It's not like super chunks of salt that you're rubbing in your face. It has little. So it just, it doesn't feel like you're scrubbing away all your skin, but it does definitely, it feels good. It does. You could definitely tell you're exfoliating, but it smells so yummy. I'm so excited. I may have found my new favorite. Okay. And then I went to Bath and Body Works, and I just wanted to back up the entire store into a tractor trailer and take it home. Couldn't. So I took home this. This is the Bath and Body Works Twilight Wood 24 Hour Moisturizing Shea Butter Cream Butter. <laughs> 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shade Body Cream, and it smells so freaking good. It is ridiculous. It is so good. I'm going to go get some more. Um, it is the, the fragrance evokes the enticing warmth and mystery of the woods as daylight fades into night. Keynotes, lush berries, sparkling mandarin, soft mimosa, apricot nectar, and cypress woods. And I could, I could just get some of my nose. I could sit here all day and just sniff this too. No, it smells so good, and it goes on so nice and so creamy, and just, it just, like, your skin just goes, it just sucks it up. And it smells, oh. Okay, go to Bath and Body Works and smell this, and tell me down below if this is not one of your favorites. Like, this is so delicious. Or if you find one that you really like that you think I might like, leave it in the comments down below. I would love to go and just... Smell everything. I'm a smeller. So that's my video for today. The Christmas DIY and a few little goodies. Um, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Like. Leave me comments down below. I will 
be so happy to hear from you guys. I do love interacting with everybody. And I would love to welcome any newcomers as part of my family. And to everybody who's already part of my family, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So until tomorrow, guys, see you later.